Okay, quick um, whiz through some things. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, I'm lucky that I found that I still had my sister's old jalopy, which is here. And there's Aurelia, my new bike in the background, but she was only 200 quid, bless her. We've got to sort the gears out. Um, the only thing I've actually spent any money on is the cycle helmet, which of course is quite important. Um, and I found an old reflective gear thing in um, my cupboard. And uh, it's just about, yes, it'd be really nice to have all the gear and bells and whistles, but you can't always afford it and you can't always get it. Um, glasses um, are, are needed, I find, and gloves. Um, but again, I'm picking them up pretty cheaply on eBay. Anyway, I'm off. I will check in with you later. Bye bye. I've stopped for a rest after 20 minutes of pretty hard cycling. I'm doing the main road from Lampy Angle past through Hank Horse, which I've not done. And it's a B road, but a fairly twisty, turny one. And it's the first time I've been brave enough to venture out. It's a pretty cloudy day, but it doesn't seem to be raining and it's not too hot and not too cold. I've got a pretty banging headache, um, but usually a cycle sorts it out because I can really be mindful and curious and lean into the pain and um, usually it goes. I just have to be a bit clever with pacing, um, which considering two years ago my solution for dealing with a headache would be to go to bed. So that's a pretty spectacular change. Um, so it's nice, it's a good day, I'm out and um, enjoying myself in a slightly sort of mild version to usual. But um, again, it's becoming a habit how I feel during these rides, so that's really good. Um, so now my legs have had a bit of a rest and I've had a drink. I'm going to get off the main road and then check in again. Um, eight and a half kilometres, just over half an hour. That's pretty good going for me. Um, forcing myself into a bit of a um, walk, even though it's not really a steep hill, just a bit of pacing. I think I've been pushing myself a little bit too hard, but the headache's gone, pretty much, which is really good. This is the road from Langasty to Penorth now, and it's a lovely little lane. Anyway, there was a big road close sign, so I'm a little bit wary as to what it meant. I, rather than turning around and going back on the main road, I decided to risk it. <laughs> Nil ye, will ye? We'll see. Hopefully on a bike I can wiggle through if it is closed. Who knows? Found myself making up all kinds of stories in my head about it. Because we do that, don't we? We always have to worry and make things up. I mean, just stand moments, see what happens. And I know how difficult staying in the moment is. It's not a natural place for me to be. I've had to do a lot of work on it in the last two years. As a child, I was very, very in my head, a daydreamer. Everything was what ifs, will be's, all through my life. And then at 16, I fell off a horse and started getting chronic pain. And it's just easier to move into your head and out of your body, loving it less, caring about it less. You just total disconnection, really. I've been such a fit youngster. I did triathlon, pushed myself, and then even after the fall, I worked at the trekking centre, and blimey, I was fit. I survived about eight miles a day and nothing else. It's crazy. But, um, yes, pain was a constant companion. Um, it still is, but it's uh, not so feared. Um, but it takes a lot of pe a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of love, a lot of self compassion to do that, and a lot of research. 
um, it's, it's hard to untangle it all, but um, and everybody's got to do their own job on it. Um, nobody can tell anybody else what it's about, really. That's kind of where I am at the moment. Um, we're all fixers, aren't we? We want to fix people. I want to fix people. But you can't. People have to fix themselves. I think we'd all be better off if we fixed ourselves. Mostly we don't need fixing. We just need loving. And that's loving ourselves and loving everybody else. But anyway, just my musings. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. I had to stop again to tell you this, and I don't care if this is too much information. I don't care if this is me blurting out my laundry all over the internet. I don't care who sees this, really. Um, I don't mind being vulnerable. Um, I've been dealing with some quite strong emotions and the fluctuations between them. After 15 years on drugs, that basically just dull you inside and out all your emotions and if you put that on top of a personality who naturally represses emotions and it's frightened of um, feeling um, it's a catalogue for disaster and with the withdrawal suddenly you just get these waves of ridiculous intense emotion um, and we're just not taught how to deal with it and it's been quite a struggle but some things I've learned and it's a bit of a rough week, as I've said before, but I'm doing all right anyway, and I'm cycling along in the moment. The, the closed road was nothing, so I'm free. I'm, I'm through that. Anyway, I met a kid on a bike about 11, and he just looked at me, and he gave me the biggest, most beautiful smile and said hello, and it was wonderful. It... Uh, it really stuck something inside me and I smiled and I was cycling along feeling fantastic and just really enjoying the feelings. And there was a woman coming along with a younger child in a pushchair thing. So I stopped and I said to her, is that your boy? I said, he's, all, he's, he's fine, he's okay. And she said, yes, it's mine. And I just said, he just said a lovely hello to me. He said, it really, really made a difference, you know. Real sort of, you know passing on kindness and stuff and I think as important it is to do that I mean that's the most important thing is to pass on the love and kindness in this world but also to tell people when they've made a difference so I'm glad I can do that because he really did make a difference and that's really cool and so about four kilometers from home now so headache's completely gone Okay, so I could have ridden up this hill, but I got off to make a quick video. Guess what? I'm on Aurelia! Yay! She went to the uh, bike shop yesterday and got all mended. And I have a working bike with gears and a suspension, and it's flipping awesome. Obviously, I'm getting used to various different, well, a different bike. Um, but so far, it's great. It's really great. Um, it's, the bike shop said to me, man said to me, when you get on your bike, you just think bike. You don't think about life. And, and that's very true. And it's a, sort of compartmentalising it. And I, I love that. That's great. It was a shitty week. Um, my pony was put down and it was hard, traumatic, not very nice. And um, my other horse is on his own, so I've been spending a lot of time with him. Just um, soothing him, helping him grieve as well. So I'm just uh, grabbing a quick hour out on Aurelia, check her out, not go too far. Have a bit of fun and um, yeah, I feel okay with her. Come into place, if you can say it. Talk later, bye bye. This is a bridal way which I've not used for ages and thought I'd have a look at, but as you can see, it doesn't look very conducive to riding. So I think this is a 
come back and walk it and investigate. Because um, I don't mind walking, I don't mind pushing the bike for a sort of field or two and or more. It doesn't really matter, so we'll see. So time to go, turn around and go home. Okay, I had to stop to show you the beautiful flowers. I think those are red campions, don't quote me. I like looking at flowers and not knowing what they are. Celandines. Ooh, I need to bring a book with me. Beautiful oak tree. Now I'm having a complete insecurity fest that that isn't an oak tree. My, to be fair, my glasses are very steamed up, so I don't know. But isn't this beautiful? Dandelions. Make a wish. See? Taking the time. Stopping to smell the roses. It's definitely an oak tree. <laughs> I should have more confidence in this. I thought, look at those. They're beautiful. Forget me not things. Oh, this is just so lovely. This is what healing healing is being in nature, being outside, being with yourself. Absolutely lovely.